North Dakota Junior, Mario Lamoureux. Mario, uh, we want to find out a little bit about you and have the folks find out a little bit about where you've been and how you got here at the University of North Dakota. Local boy, Grand Forks, uh, always been a Sioux fan? Uh, ever since I can remember, I remember my first Sioux memory. Uh, probably five years old, my dad tried to take me to a game and we missed the first period because I was crying because I couldn't find the right jacket. But uh, I made it to the game, I think the Sioux won that night, and ever since I can remember being a little kid, I've been a diehard Sioux fan. Where'd you play your youth hockey in town, in Grand Forks? Uh, I played for the Grand Forks Supras growing up and then uh, played there until fifth or sixth grade and then moved on, played uh, some Hockey in Grand Forks for Bantams and Pee Wees, and then went, played for Grand Forks Central, won two state championships there, and then moved on to the, uh, the junior level. The junior level was uh, much traveled for you, wasn't it? Well, I don't know if it was much traveled, but it was long stayed. I was there for four years. Um, it, was, uh, it was long four years, but I had a blast. I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't trade any of those years for anything. It was well worth my time and uh, kind of set the foundation for me to come to UND, uh, you know, lifelong dream to come here. So definitely set the foundation for me and definitely well worth the four years I spent there. Mario, when did you figure out that you might be able to play this game at a, at a higher level and, and or, or really when did you decide that you really enjoyed this game and it was something you wanted to pursue? Ever since I was a little kid, uh, played with my older brothers and, you know, they kind of probably created the competitiveness in me. Um, ever since I was little, I always wanted to beat them, so they kind of pushed me all the way through up until, you know, they're still pushing me today. So I know Pierre's my, he's my coach now, so he's got extra motivation to, you know, kick me in the rear if I need it. So ever since I was a little kid, uh, you know, I've always had that, you know, that drive to be better and, you know, try and get to the highest level possible. What did it feel like when Coach Hackstall Talk to your approach to you about coming to North Dakota playing hockey. I was ecstatic. Um, definitely excited about it. I uh, kind of weighed my options on what I wanted to do, and you know I was actually committed to another school before I committed here, and that didn't work out. And you know I talked to Coach Haxtell again, and I asked if you know are you still uh, interested in having me come. And he said absolutely, and uh, you know I. Probably easily the best decision I ever made. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. My last two years here have been absolutely unbelievable. And uh, you know, I'm trying to soak up as much as I can while I'm here because it's, I know it'll be the best four years of my life. So I'm trying to uh, enjoy it and uh, yeah, just enjoy everything while, uh, while it's still here. Well, if you're not playing hockey in 10 years, what will you be doing? That's a I have no idea. I have no idea, Tim. Maybe coaching. I don't know. I'd like to get into coaching, do a little bit in the summers, and uh, it's it's uh, fun, uh, hard work. Definitely, it's not as easy as people say, but uh, coaching maybe, or else you know, somewhere in the business world. We'll see though. Thanks for being with us, and uh, and best of luck. Thank you, Tim.